For the first time since he announced his resignation, Fort Valley State University's president is speaking out. In November, Dr. Larry Rivers announced he would be stepping down. His last day as leader of the university will be June 30th. 41 NBC's Jasmine Williams talked with Dr. Rivers about furloughs, budget cuts, and the school's future. Dr. Rivers was very candid about his new book and the current budget cuts at Fort Valley State. I talked with the school's president about his future, his new projects, and where he thinks the future of the university is headed. President of the Fort Valley State University. The leader of the Wildcat Pack is leaving the Valley. Dr. Larry Rivers, president at Fort Valley State University, is stepping down amid a brewing budget struggle. We have taken over seven years uh, reduction in our budget to almost 35 percent. In recent years, the school has dealt with layoffs, budget cuts, furloughs, and a looming $5.2 million shortfall. And for the first time ever, Dr. Rivers is speaking out about it all. Things are tight. But we are not going into a deficit. We've had to furlough, and in some cases, we've had to lay off people. But at the end of the day, uh, we, have, we have balanced our books. Now that the books are balanced, Rivers is leaving to write his own. He finished his seventh novel, Rebels and Runaways, and plans to continue writing and working in the classroom. He's currently looking to teach history at Valdosta State University. So that I can first and foremost teach uh, students, do my research, and work in the community. But before he leaves his beloved Fort Valley for good, Rivers says he has some unfinished business. The Fort Valley alum wants to obtain a land grant to bring several new programs to the school. I think I've accomplished a lot of my goals, but what I really wanted to, to get through was a doctorate in veterinary medicine program. And while Rivers may not be around to see all of his projects complete, he hopes whoever follows in his footsteps will continue on the same path. Dr. Rivers said a committee is currently in its early stages searching for his replacement. They're going through applications and plan to have the position filled as early as the spring.